In today's video, I want to show you how you can supercharge your 2024 theme for WordPress. You know, if you've been following this channel for a little while, that I do love the 2024 theme. I think it's one of the best uh, default themes that we've had at the core of WordPress in a long time, and you can do a lot with it. A lot is subjective, of course, when you compare this to a feature theme or a page builder theme, uh, but I think out of the box, folks can get a little bit more creative these days with 2024, and especially with WordPress 6.5 coming, which will introduce, uh, at the minimum, some Google fonts, right, so that you could change these fonts without having to run the Gutenberg plugin. However, there is a new plugin, new-ish, uh, it's got 10,000 active installs in the WordPress repo, called Twentig, Twentig, twentig.com, like 2024 with a twig, <laughs> the easy way to create stunning WordPress websites. It's a plugin that's going to allow you to enhance the 2024 theme, uh, which I'll show you in a little bit, but then they have a uh, new theme coming uh, in, in the future. So it says, join the wait list uh, if you want to see their new theme. Uh, there's no cost. It's a free theme. I don't know. All right, it's a free plugin. I don't know what the Twentig theme is going to cost in the future. So I'm running this now in the WordPress uh, playground. I have the Twentig plugin already installed. And what I like about it so far is it's super lightweight. I know that this one thing I don't want is a heavy plugin with tons of things yelling at me, screaming at me, especially when I think the mindset, if I'm ever using 2024 on a project, like I run on Matt Report, like I run on Breaking Content. These are two websites I really don't mess with a lot, and I don't want a lot when I go back in because when I'm going in, I'm just going in for like quick little fixes. Uh, and I really appreciate that Twentig uh, plugin, at least at the time of this recording, is very lightweight. And this sort of jumping off point dare I say, like onboarding screen is is fantastic for giving me the features that I just need. Uh, we'll take a look at these website templates in a moment, but it's giving me the quick links that uh, a beginner might need. Like, hey, I want to quickly edit my header. I want to edit my blog page. How do I get to that? Managing Google fonts, setting up a portfolio. I always find it interesting that a lot of designers who uh, build WordPress themes always have or generally have like a portfolio section. Um, could be a services section, a portfolio photography section, uh, block patterns, block settings, uh, join the club, and then you can explore more about them. Let's first focus on importing a website template. We're going to click on that. It's going to bring us to the website template screen. Currently, I am running the business theme, which 2024 seems to do quite well out of the box. Uh, so it's using a bit of the core blocks and patterns that 2024 has. It's using, it's augmenting that with some of the blocks and patterns that the Twentig uh, plugin provides. And then it's sort of just building out that homepage, services page, and blog page. Let me go, uh, and I'm just going to install it again. So I'm going to click on import. And you can see, are you ready to import the business uh, template? It gives you a little bit of a warning and you can delete previously imported content, which is pretty cool because you can kind of jump between these templates and try out the one that might work for you. So I'm gonna hit import again. Uh, again, I'm re-importing uh, the same look and feel that I already had. So here's the homepage. Again, very close to uh, what 2024 gives us by default. Might even actually be all the same uh, core blocks and patterns, but the services page is pre-built for us. Uh, I think the one thing that it might be bringing in is this particular pricing uh, block is, I think, different than the core 2024 theme. The blog page is set up and styled for us already, and then it has a contact page already set up and styled for us. So about services, blog, contact, that's what you want out of your typical business site. So if you're consulting with people and you're saying, hey, what's the what's the most lightweight approach for me to build a WordPress business website out of the box with just one plugin, one-ish plugin, then Twentig is a plugin that might be on your radar. Let's go back and I'm just gonna do in install one more um, template so that we can see what the difference is. So if I pick something like, well, we have the blog template, we have a personal uh, template, so almost like a resume style. Let's preview that and see what that looks like. 
So that's pretty cool. Um, if you want something like uh, a resume, so we're actually, let's just go ahead and activate that one. So we'll go ahead and hit import. Once again, yes, delete that previous stuff that you've created for me and click on import. View the site. Very fast. I can tell you that this is running in the playground, which I've noticed is, is actually uh, been optimally enhanced uh, since the last time I used it, but very quick, installs it very fast. Uh, Still has the services page. Yeah, I guess that makes sense. What I do about uh, my services, my clients. And this is all pre-designed, pre-made for us. Let me move that screen back in, which is really cool. And then the blog style looks a little bit different than that business one. And the contact page looks a little bit different than that first one. When we go into the dashboard, we'll go to the pages section. You can see these are the pages that it pulled in for us. And if I edit the services... This is exactly what we saw on the front end. This is all built with uh, the blocks and the content that the Twentig uh, plugin imported from us for us. And you can see all on the left-hand side, these are all the blocks uh, that this is being built with. If we open up to the patterns, you can see there are a lot more patterns here when you're running uh, the Twentig plugin. So <clears throat> I'm kind of stuck between a rock and a hard place. I've often like sort of uh, uh, ranted about how uh, themes and plugins will color code their blocks, uh, color code their patterns. Sometimes you see like an animated GIF and you're like, what, is, what are we doing here, people? There's only so much space. So I wasn't really sure which ones were brought in from Twentig and which ones are core 2024, but this list is a lot longer. And I can tell you simply with just these pricing uh, blocks alone and these pricing patterns, I should say, there's a lot more that Twentig brings in uh, for your 2024 customization pleasure. Uh, there's a lot of stuff here. So let's go back to the settings. And you might say, you know what? I don't want that stuff on. Like, I don't want the WordPress uh, core block patterns. I don't want the Twentig patterns. You can turn these on and off as you see fit, which is really cool. Uh, this is kind of powerful for a free plugin. Very simple, uh, but very clean uh, and effective in my opinion. Here's the settings for the portfolio stuff. I haven't seen this in a while. This <laughs> sort of makes me reminisce of the old days of WordPress themes uh, where we had this baked in uh, sort of uh, custom post type slug settings for, for the portfolios. I remember when Jetpack launched this and it was introducing custom post types and people's minds were blown. Um, this is just kind of brings me back to the old days. The way that you can load in Google fonts is nice, uh, nice and lightweight. I wonder what they'll do if they'll continue this when core WordPress has the Google fonts, but you can simply start to search for the fonts that you want to be loaded, uh, which styles, uh, if we find one that has more styles. Let's just see what that does. There it is. That's a pretty cool way of doing it. What it's saying is you get one and two fonts, not a zillion, <laughs> not every single one in the in the Google library, but here's the ones you that you can load and then which styles. I really like this approach because you're able to really drill it down um, and of course host Google fonts locally to keep this as performant as possible. So Twentig is a fantastic way to build sites. One of the things I didn't really notice though if we go to editor is if we go into templates these might be new templates that they're pulling in there's a little bit of a lag because we are on the um the playground but i don't see a specific home page template i think what they're doing even the blog home this is just blog actually was that right there in front of me and i'm i'm saying i don't see it this is it here, but this is just the home page. Maybe I'm confusing how templates work <laughs> 100% here, uh, but fantastic. Oh, here, this is what I was looking for. Uh, so pages, single page with sidebar, single posts, index. They're not running the indexes, just uh, the posts and blog home. It's also just a blog post. So I think they're just running the home page at, with the patterns and blog uh, and blocks as that home page. It's not a particular template. So let me just check this one more time. Template is page with no title. Yes, yeah, so I was correct. It's just a page with no title. And then that home page is just being built right here. Uh, this is the kind this is the way I kind of 
think about doing it. Uh, give me a blank template and then let me build my homepage. Whereas I think 2024 is saying, here's a template with all of the blocks and patterns in it already. Load that pattern as the homepage. I think you could build it any way that, that you see fit, but I, I do appreciate this way better. It's just the way my mind works uh, with blocks and patterns. Twentig, uh, pretty fantastic if you're looking for something super lightweight to customize uh, your 2024 theme. As I mentioned before, they're going to have a new theme coming. You can sign up on that email address or on their website at twentig.com and get access uh, to that new theme once it is available. Things, uh, again, no pricing. You're not buying anything, not yet anyway. Quick start guide seems like there is uh, just enough content there for you to understand how to get this thing going. And then the support form is going to bring you to the WordPress uh, org support form. I said 10,000, it's 20,000 last updated three days ago uh, in, in the time of this recording. It says toolkit for block themes, uh, not specifically for 2024, so I, I can understand how they're going to scale this up. So they're focused on 2024 now. Maybe they pivot to their own theme and kind of enhance it there. They go the sort of co-blocks route where it's just a, uh, a block plugin for any WordPress theme uh, that you might be running. So interesting to see them focus on 2024. I think it'd be smart if they continue to focus on 2024 because I think it's a fantastic theme. I'd love WordPress to continue to focus on 2024 and not just jump into 2025, which we're about 10 months away from previewing uh, as crazy as that sounds. The WPMinute.com for your weekly WordPress news, the WPMinute.com slash subscribe if you want to stay up to date with your weekly WordPress news. Thanks for watching today's video. Thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, share it on social media. Leave a comment below. I'd like to talk to you all. Let me know what you're thinking for your neck for the next video here on the WP Minute. Thanks for watching.